Hey guys, welcome to the Scotty T Sports Experience. Uh, today we're going to be talking about week one college football preview here. Uh, some good games slated, so I want to talk about them, uh, my top games. Um, I I don't really like week one, to be honest with you. I think half the time it's a waste of time. Uh, you got Alabama, like I said, or, uh, in the other broadcast, that they like to play teams such as Community Christian Hospital. So, I mean, let's uh, talk about that. And then uh, we're also going to talk about the Flacco brothers. Uh, there is another Flacco that has emerged. His name is Tom Flacco. We are going to talk about him. And is he better than Joe? I don't know. You'll just have to tune in to find out here. So, let's get on with it, and uh, I got these games written down because I don't have a tele uh, telepathic uh, memory, as uh, you would like to say. So, here we go. We got uh, week one. We got Miami, Florida happening on the 24th, as, and that's going to be a good one. I'm not going to lie. I think that's uh, that's my highlight of uh this week is uh miami florida versus uh florida uh you have to say the miami florida because people might think it's miami of ohio so uh we don't want to mix that up because if uh miami of ohio goes in takes on florida it's just going to be a massacre and i won't be talking about that game so in this game you know i, I really believe uh miami's going to take the loss in this one um i don't i think the acc is probably the weakest conference uh from head to toe so uh yeah florida's just gonna dominate you got felipe franks i think he'll be fine so that's gonna be possibly over by halftime but you never know uh, we also got UCLA and Cincy. That's on 8-29. That's an interesting game to me. Uh, Cincinnati, you know, they, they're they a scrappy bunch of guys. And they can move the football. You know, the defense is okay. Um, I'm interested in UCLA to see what uh, Chip Kelly does here. Um, I don't know if he's got all his recruits in or not but I think UCLA is going to be fine once they get the recruits in it's just a matter of time and what not so we'll see what happens with that uh, I'm making a claim right now I believe South Dakota State will go into Minnesota and upset the Golden Gophers honestly I don't think Minnesota's gonna do much this year i think they'll be okay but i don't think uh they can play with the big boys in the uh big 10 conference i uh, just i think uh south dakota state is gonna win that game and you got wisconsin south florida that's gonna be a good matchup uh i'd like to see what wisconsin does as far as i mean they got jonathan taylor so They'll be running the football like crazy, and uh, it's going to be, I think it's going to be easy to run on the Bulls, but, uh, you know, it, it all depends on who shows up. Uh, as far as the offensive line, they're they're solid. They're always solid. You got a lot of key guys on that team that they're going to be a front runner, I think, in the Big Ten. Uh, do I think they're gonna win it? Now, nah, I don't think they'll they'll win it, but they uh, they're gonna turn some heads, I believe, and uh, they're gonna be a good team. Uh, Oklahoma State, Oregon State. I think this is an interesting game because it's uh, I got a piece of hair that is bothering me here, and I found it. It's my wife's hair, so that's good. Thank you, Brittany, on that one. And so back to Oklahoma State, Oregon State. I think this is an interesting game because of the fact that uh, it's on the West Coast. Um, 
time difference. And uh, teams have trouble when they, they go to the West Coast. And uh, first game of the year might not be so bad. I mean, maybe get there a couple days early, get your work in, and uh, stay focused. I mean, you know, and uh, as a coach I once had, you know, he, he's, he said it perfect. Do what your coach to do, and you'll be fine. So go in there, try to steal a W, and uh, get back to Stillwater and start your cupcake schedule there that they have uh, week two. Northwestern, Stanford, another quality game. Uh, Northwestern, uh, out of Illinois, they're going to be heading to Stanford. California. That's going to be uh, another West Coast game. Um, Stanford, no Bryce Love. Um, so, who do they got to step up as the running back? That's what I'd like to know. And uh, we're going to find that out on the 31st. I got a piece of hair in my mouth now. I got this big beard. And it gets out of control. So, that's going to be fun. Boise State, Florida State. Boise's going to, I think they're going to beat Florida State. I don't think Florida State's going to be anything this year. Uh, so, but hey, I hope they turn, uh, turn it around and uh, prove me wrong because that would be, I think college football is not the same without Florida State doing what Florida State does. Same with Miami. I don't think Miami, when they're not the same, it's college football is just different. Excuse me, it's just different. So, and this is the game uh, I'm really interested in right here. Um, it's the Houston Cougars versus uh, the OU Sooners. Today, it was uh, mentioned today, uh, reported today that Jalen Hurts will start week one. Um, you know, he, he quality quarterback, I think he's going to be just fine. But uh, they do have some players that are ready to step up if Jalen can't get the job done. And uh, is that going to weigh on him? That's the question. So we'll, we'll have to see about that in the uh, – coming future and i'm gonna call it right now uh akron will beat illinois illinois uh they probably can get about maybe four wins this season i would think um but i don't think they're gonna be anything special um old lovey smith i don't know if he lost it or what when he was at the bears but uh i just i don't I don't see good things coming out of the old Champaign, Illinois here this year. So we'll have to see. And uh, I thought this was a funny uh, thing to mention here. This is a little tidbit. Uh, whatnots. Uh, we have a segment called Scotty T's Tidbits and Whatnots. And uh, this is uh, one I did not know of. Incarcinate word. I think that's how you pronounce it. Well, that's a college. And that's a Catholic university. The old Cardinals, as they're known. They'll be taking on Texas San Antonio. And, uh, you know, I'm surprised Alabama didn't schedule them uh, for week one because uh, that's a school that Alabama would uh, like to play. And uh, that's something that they do because, you know, they can't play the big boys apparently, and I'm not get, I'm not discrediting Alabama. I think they're a great team. Um, you know they do have a tough SEC conference, so I guess you know you need them kind of warm up games. But uh, you know I would more like like to have them play uh, you know a Tulsa, uh, uh, maybe a UTEP. Something like that, uh, Houston, BYU, some something, something to that 
extent instead of these Christian Bible camps, you know. That's I just don't know why you're playing them teams. I think it's you're going to beat them by 70 and then what? You got Tua sitting the whole fourth quarter. It's not a good look. I mean, I don't think it helps you as a team. I mean, oh, look, I can score points. I don't think that helps you at all. So we'll see what happens, but uh, I'm not a not a fan of it. I know in, uh, back in the day we used to play the old NCAA football games. You know, we were scheduling number one, number two, number three, like back-to-back so we could improve our ratings. And uh, But obviously you can't do that. You know, real college football. I think it's uh, too hard. Let's see what we got here. Might have an update. No, we do not. So, back to this. Uh, week one's going to be action packed. Uh, I think you got some good games on, good quality games that uh, you would like to watch. You know, and I, I want to apologize. You know, if you're a, a fan of these little schools and um, I make fun of you. Yeah, I, I mean, I make fun of my own team uh, right there in Michigan. Uh, huge Michigan fan. Uh, I'm going to try not to be biased. I'm actually starting another YouTube channel that is devoted to the boys in blue. So that's where I can uh, talk about my boys in blue and not have to talk about anybody else. So, let's uh, switch gears here a little bit. Uh, first of all, I would like to uh, give a shout-out. Uh, and everybody needs to start following this woman on uh, YouTube. Uh, that's uh, Angry Fortnite Mom. I would uh, tune in because she's a, she's a riot, let me tell you. Um, she's uh, fun to play with. And uh, and uh, it's it's funny here to hear her uh, rage if you will and uh check it out uh angry fortnite mom on youtube and give her a subscription and i know she gives uh uh giveaways so i mean if you like fortnite get on it also like to uh mention kayla's cakes if you are in the uh, market for a cake cupcakes brownies maybe hmm i don't know but uh i would look up her website uh, that is at uh, Kayla's Cakes, and that is with a K, not a C. So, you need a cake, look her up. She's got great prices. If you need any more information, just message me on here or at Scott Tucker on Facebook. And we got one last sponsor, if you will, and that is uh, Moore's Custom Kennels. If you need a kennel for your uh, furry loved one, make quality their priority. And they have a website as uh, More Custom Kennels, and they will give you some great prices, and uh, you will have a luxury home for your animal. Now it is time. For Scotty T's tidbits and whatnot. All right, so today we're talking. I'd like to do this every week, possibly maybe every month. We'll see how it goes. Uh, what's the response on it from every everybody out there? I would uh, like to do this because of the fact that not a lot of players on small teams get noticed, and uh, I believe. This is a, uh, I don't know if anybody's going to see it, but hey, I'm doing this, trying to do this as a career, um, and I want to mention the little guy, as you will, and uh, so we're going to start out with a guy from Townsend, uh, he is the younger brother of Joe Flacco, his name is Tom Flacco, and uh, you know, I thought this was uh, pretty interesting, I'm not going to lie. Um, you know, uh, Tom's only six one. Joe's six seven. That's amazing. I mean, you know, you really look at it. 
do they have the same parents? I mean, what's the deal? I mean, or was Joe drinking a few more Bud Lights as a kid? I'm not really sure here because he's tall, you know, and, and it, as far as who's better, uh, you know, uh, Tom had last season, he had uh, about 2,700 yards, uh, 20 touchdowns, ten about 10 picks. So uh, he, had, he had a good uh, 61% completion rate, which is, you know, decent. Um, I wouldn't say it's outstanding, but it's it's decent. Um, and, you know, he played, he played really good. Um, for Townsend, uh, he did play. Uh, started his career at uh, Western Michigan. Let me get a little sip of uh, just water on this on today's show. Just water. Uh, didn't really play much. Uh, he was more of a, a run guy, um, but he did throw for 188 yards in his career at uh, Western Michigan. And uh, then he went to uh, Rutgers. I don't even know if he played. I don't think he did. Um, why would you want to play in Rutgers? I mean, come on. But uh, that's all jokes aside there. Uh, he graduated from Rutgers, and now he's uh, he is a redshirt senior now this season. Um, so he played last year at Townsend, and uh, this would be his final year. Um, he, he is ranked in the top 50 quarterbacks uh he's uh, i think around 33rd i want to say and uh that, hey coming out of townsend that's pretty pretty good um you know and uh he did did well last season uh i would like to uh see what he does this season because if you look at old cool joe uh see here oh i'm sorry he had uh that was joe that had over 27 in his first uh real action i'm sorry about that i uh joe had the 27 and uh he had 3200 yards old tommy flacco had 3200 hey that's pretty good um but if he wants to Beat old Cool Joe. He's gonna have to have a pretty good year. Joe had four thousand, over four thousand yards in his final year with the uh, twenty-three touchdowns. I think I can't even read my own handwriting. Unbelievable, and uh, five interceptions. He has twenty records at uh, Delaware. You know, he went eighteenth overall 2008 uh, draft uh, to the Ravens and won the Super Bowl there in Baltimore and then uh, Lamar came in and stole the show obviously Joe's getting a little bit older and uh, he's now in Denver and uh, I think that's a good fit for him I think John Elway is uh, a quality a guy that you can uh, get behind and I think he, he saw something in Joe I don't think he thinks Joe's done. And, you know, it's funny because they did the same thing with Peyton Manning. Peyton Manning won a Super Bowl in Indy. Here comes uh, the young stallion, as you will, uh, as in uh, Andrew Luck. And there you go. Peyton Manning's out. So he goes to Denver, wins the Super Bowl, retires. Is this the year? I don't think so. I think Kansas City's way too powerful, to be honest with you. But that's uh, another day, another show. So we'll discuss that at a later date. But uh, as far as Tom Flacco, I think he's he's a quality quarterback. I think. I mean, I want I wouldn't say he's a number one overall, or or even a first rounder at that. I mean, you're maybe looking. I think if a team gets them into fifth, steal. Um, you, you know, in fifth, sixth, seventh, then them them later rounds, uh, that's a steal. Um, I mean, look at Brady; he was drafted late, so far late. 
ish. I mean, he was like fourth. I don't know, something like that. But uh, I should really do my homework, apparently, if I'm going to have a sports show. Anyways, you know, uh, back to Tom here. I think he's going to have a pretty decent year. And uh, it's uh, it's going to be fun to watch these uh, young athletes uh, play some football here. I can't wait for Saturday. I'm going to be honest with you. Been waiting for this for a while, and um, it's going to be fun. I, I really had to say it. the uh, preseason polls came out today, and uh, Clemson number one, obviously. Alabama, I believe, is two. Georgia's three. So uh, my team's coming in at seven, right behind the Ohio State. And I, uh, I saw something that was funny today. Uh, Rich Eisen was uh, mentioning that Ohio State wants to trademark the Ohio State. Like, do you even do that? Because what if I'm in school and I'm writing a paper? Can I write the? Can I say the? I mean, can you even trademark? a word like that I mean that's such a common word how can you trademark the and who, who made who made it that that's them the Ohio State I, 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 personally I think we're not even going to get into it it's, it's biased and we're not going to do that on uh, Scott A.T.'s sports experience this is uh been been a dream of mine to uh do this and uh i'm really i think i was a little more comfortable in this show let me know uh leave some comments uh, uh for me to uh, look at and uh try to get better on everything i do so i just want you guys you know to like it and i hope hope that we can interact I, I like to debate about sports sports is fun there's no wrong answer like I said this is all my opinion you can agree or disagree uh, I just I've been around sports a while so I, I kind of know the ins and outs and play a lot of Madden so that helps um, unlike uh, Favre when he first came in the league I know what uh a nickel defense is so that kind of helps but personally this is something I want to do for the rest of my life um, manufacturing is hasn't been so kind to me to my body so that's gonna wrap up today's show uh, I was just a quick show um, should be back this week I want to say but we'll just, you'll just have to stay tuned and uh, you know keep your comments coming and them likes them shares and them subscriptions till then I will uh, talk to you guys later and uh, I hope you have a very very lovely Monday night uh, it is 100 degrees here where I am at, and it is not fun, let me tell you. But, hey, I'll catch you.